In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use FX Factory transitions in Motion and After Effects. Apple's Motion and Adobe's After Effects lack native support for transition effects, something we use every day in Final Cut Pro. FX Factory transitions now work in Motion and After Effects. I'll show you how to use them. First, in Motion, I have two video clips loaded. They overlap by about a second, the length of the transition I'd like to use. The first thing I'll do is move the second clip into another group or layer. Because there is no native support for a transition, FX Factory transitions show up as filters. I'll select the first clip and then go to the Filters menu and then scroll to FX Factory Pro Transitions. Let's use the Scatter transition. Now you'll see that my whole clip is affected by Scatter. That's because the transition is controlled by a single parameter called Transition Progress. To tell the transition what to transition to, I need to drop the group which contains the second clip into the image well marked Transition Layer. The reason I put this clip into a second group is that now Motion will respect the endpoint of that clip as a part of the transition I'm setting up. To use this, all I need to do is add a couple of keyframes in the clip at the end. It's that easy. Now I can go through the presets and even tweak the other parameters to get what I'd like. Let's look at how to use an FX Factory transition in After Effects. I have two clips in my composition. As before, the transitions show up in Effects under FX Factory Pro Transitions. Let's drag the Agent transition on the first clip. Like in Motion, it affects the whole clip until we keyframe the transition. I'll do that by animating the Transition Progress parameter. Next, I'll go to the Clip 2 drop-down menu. You'll see both clips are listed here. I'll choose the name of the second clip as Clip 2, and it will transition to that clip. Now that the transition is set up, I can tweak the other parameters to my liking. This is a great additional feature to FX Factory, and a creative way to easily use transitions in Motion and After Effects, where they weren't available before. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.